Welcome back to AHR Live with PHCP Pros. I'm Ashley Williams, the editor of Plumbing Engineer Magazine, and I am here with Wes Lobo, who is Vice President of Marketing and Product Development at Watts Water Technologies. And he's going to speak to, about some of the trending topics with Airco and PBI Industries. Welcome. Thank you so much. Good morning, Ashley. Thanks Good for having me. Good morning. Um, so let's talk specifically um, first about some boiler technology. Can you tell me about how um, design has improved recently for you all? Yeah, great question. So, you know, boiler technology really over the last 10, 15 years has been transitioning from non-condensing to condensing technology, and really that's about driving efficiencies higher and higher. So thermal efficiencies uh, of the products getting in the you know, low to mid 90s. And what's happening really in the last couple of years and what we see going forward is as people sort of peak out on the efficiency side of things is controls. So we see on the boiler side, uh, you know, boilers have a little bit more of a control dynamic than some other products in a mechanical room. And so we see controls playing a big part. And we also see some of the ancillaries around the boiler and the boiler plant playing a big part. You know, we at Airco, uh, a Watts brand, have really focused on that by, last year we launched our edge controller. Uh, so this year in our booth you'll see highlighted our new Benchmark Platinum boiler with the edge controller. And really it's the controls around the boiler system. So with us, we've really focused on providing our customers with three avenues of peace of mind, which is to save on the uh, you know, financial impact and also on time. It's to simplify the operation, really helping the technicians with startup and maintenance, and it's to strengthen the performance of the system, really strengthening on the veins of um, reliability, performance, and, um, and, and, and maintenance. And so, if you think about save, simplify, strengthen, that's really the, the benchmark of our boiler design today. Got it. Um, and can you tell me specifically how has technology improved for water heater design? So on the water heater side, it's, uh, it's a little bit more uh, unique of an application because on the boiler side, closed loop water systems, not as aggressive. On the water heater side, it's an open loop design, so the water coming into the facility is the water that's going into your water heater, and so there's a lot more of an aggressive environment going on in there. So you really have to focus on materials of construction that that water is going to be going through in that high heat environment. Uh, the other thing on water heaters is uh, you see the industry really trending toward you know, wanting larger BTUs, smaller footprint, uh, and so it's really about optimizing the space of the mechanical room. It's such valuable space. And if you think about a mechanical room for any equipment, it's, uh, it's non-revenue space in a building, whether it's a hotel, an office space. And so when uh, designers and owners can minimize the footprint of their mechanical room, they can actually turn more of that space into revenue generating space. So our mission really is to provide equipment that's easily retrofitable, fits through a 36 inch door for retrofit, to be able to get in there with small footprint for new construction, minimize the footprint of that mechanical room, and really optimize the revenue generating space in the building. That, that makes sense. <laughs> um, and so can you talk about what trends you see um, when it comes to commercial water heater installations? So trends we're seeing, uh, so two things. One, I mentioned the footprint piece, and so a move toward you know, high BTU, smaller footprint technology. Uh, the other trend would be also similar to boilers. There is a ask and a pull from the market for just improved controls. You know, the world we live in uh, is really, it's a digitized age, and so people are looking for smart and connected products. And, and really, that's the theme of our Watts booth this year, is smart and connected. And so when you come to the Watts booth, where the Airco and PPI brands sit under the Watts umbrella, you'll see our um, connect, control, conserve message trickle down into all the different products that are within the Watts family. And so we see the smart and connected trend playing out in water heaters, we see the small footprint trend, and we see the high BTU and a small footprint um, uh, trend playing out. Got it. Um, and could you all talk a little bit about design challenges that you all are facing with water heaters? So, some of the design challenges on the water heater side is, so for retrofits, it's especially if you're going into systems that were either non-condensing in the past or really, you know, 20, 30 year old technology that was um, a much larger footprint, it's being able to physically get that old equipment out and being able to get new equipment in. And so, uh, to try to avoid contractors having to you know, break down walls and, and really put a big burden on the whole retrofit side of things, you know, if they can go into the existing equipment, cut it out, move it out, and then move the new equipment in, uh, fitting through that uh, service door, uh, that's one challenge that we, we feel like we've overcome by focusing on keeping our equipment uh, within that 36 inch wide uh, door frame. 
And then the other one is about, like I mentioned before, uh, there's a increasing awareness in the industry around things like the ancillaries around the water heater. So what are you doing to look at the water coming in? What are you doing about the research loops? What are you doing about controls? And so it's the water heater, but then it's also the ancillaries around it. Um, and then speaking more big picture, uh, general in general, what should our PHCP Pro's readers be looking forward to from uh, PVI and Airco in 2020? Well, so we are uh, always down the uh, trend of trying to be innovative, uh, leading the industry in technology and smart and connected products and in footprint. And so we're excited that in 2020 we have some really uh, a cool technology planned to launch over the next uh, three, six, nine months. And so be on the lookout. Uh, our R&D engineers are always working hard to uh, innovate and make sure that we're providing really customer friendly solutions. And so we've got a pretty robust pipeline coming out this year. Got it. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me this morning, Wes. Thank you so much for having me. This is great.